Introducing my new Windows 11 computer. I'm finally getting a proper chance to have a look at Windows 11 and I've got this really interesting setup that I want to share with you today. This computer has two screens, one large one and one smaller one. And the smaller one also has a touch interface. And that's because the smaller screen is actually a Lumia phone with Windows 11 installed and it's the center of this whole computer. And that's what this video is about. How well does this old Lumia phone from 2015 run Windows 11? To get Windows 11 on this phone, I used the Lumia WOA or Windows on ARM project. I've been watching this project for a few years now. The team at Lumia WOA have been developing the tools to deploy the ARM version of Windows to Microsoft's final two Lumia phones, the 950 and the 950 XL. I'm really impressed with the quality of tools that they've made and all the documentation they're providing. It's well worth checking out. And here's my Lumia 950 XL. This was Microsoft's big final push to compete with other phone operating systems namely iOS and Android. It's fast and responsive, and the tile-based Windows 10 Mobile is an interesting take on mobile operating systems. I like the ideas Microsoft have put into this, and the way it all looks. The tile-based system seems very ahead of its time, though I have to admit, I've never actually used this as an operating system. So for many years I've been collecting discarded devices or buying things when they reach their minimum value. This is the idea of the trough of low value, where tech has become so old it's basically considered useless, yet it hasn't quite started becoming collectible yet. Video game consoles are a good example of the phenomena of when old tech starts to become collectible. When technology goes well beyond 10 years old and approaches ages more like 20 years old, People again want to feel that connection and there's a nostalgia that happens and technology enters a collectible phase. For general technology, I've noticed that at least 10 years old is a good age to get things for cheap or even free. I mean, who wants to buy or use a more than 10 year old computer or phone? Yet that's the best time to get stuff if you're interested in exploring these sorts of things. These final models of Lumias from Microsoft are now over six years old and approaching seven. But combined with Microsoft's now abandoned Windows 10 mobile operating system, these phones seem to be falling into the trough of low value a lot earlier and faster than most other technology. So I thought it was time to get one of these final Lumias. And when I got this phone, I did try using it to see what it was like. But for some reason, I haven't been able to connect to the Microsoft App Store. From what I can tell, the App Store for Windows 8 Mobile has been closed, but Windows 10 Mobile apps should still be available. Though, of course, with no new apps being added. Though, as much as I tried, I simply wasn't able to connect to the store. I'm not really sure why. So with this Lumia becoming very cheap, and the Lumia Windows on ARM project doing so well, I just had to get into this. I did try and get into Windows 11 last year with this old Veo. I really enjoyed that project and learning about the lower levels of the Windows install process, but it ended up running so poorly that I didn't really explore Windows 11 any further on that device. This Lumia has changed all that. The install process with Lumia Windows on ARM is really well defined, and the guides available on their website are excellent. To get Windows on ARM, visit the UUP Dump website and choose the version of Windows you want to install. In this case, I'm choosing the ARM64 Pro Edition. I can then download their custom tool and scripts. Running this then downloads all the required Windows components and assembles the final ISO image for you. This process is automated and easy to use. You then get an image which contains the needed WIM file ready to install onto the phone. The first step is unlocking the bootloader with Windows Phone internals. As long as you read through everything in the software and follow the tutorials, 
it should be a really easy process without too many mistakes such as one of the mistakes I did with not first downloading a valid flash file resulting in an error and no unlocked bootloader. Another problem I had is the Lumia Windows on ARM deployer only runs on Windows 10 and I still run Windows 7 as my main desktop operating system. I won't go into how or why I still run Windows 7 but I have made a community post about the reasons why. So this meant switching to Windows 10 for this process. For this I have this awesome and cheap Chinese branded tablet made by Jumper. It's not very powerful but for a hundred bucks it's cheap and small and light and it runs Windows 10 well enough on the x86 CPU inside. It's perfect for these sort of use cases. I had some initial problems with my Lumia when I was mucking about with it on Windows 7 and I managed to get it into a boot failure mode with a red screen error. Running Microsoft's Windows device recovery tool, I was able to easily reflash the phone back to a working state. And then I could unlock the bootloader. Then it was a matter of switching to the Windows on ARM deployer tool. And this also went reasonably well, with only a couple of problems. The deployer tool allows for a dual boot option, with both Windows 10 Mobile and Windows 11 installed simultaneously. However, I wasn't able to get this to work. I think it might have been the version of Windows 11 that I chose and maybe a lack of space on the device. So I elected to just wipe Windows 10 Mobile from the phone and install Windows 11 only. Also, when I reached the point where the developer menu was installed on the phone, which gives the option to speed up the rest of the install process, I was unable to get the installer to keep going. I was probably just making some simple mistakes at this point, but instead of working through them, I decided to just use the slower default method, resulting in about a 40 minute install time rather than maybe 15 minutes. So with all that done, I'm now pleased to be greeted with the Windows 11 setup screens. I chose to use a local account, which fortunately was easy to do. The setup process did restart the phone a couple of times and it took a while but Microsoft was able to keep me entertained with these floating blue blobs and psychologically reassuring messages during most of this process. They were able to convince me that this was going to work and it was going to be worth the wait. Finally, I get to the desktop and there it is, Windows 11 on my phone. It's perhaps slightly sluggish, but it's not too bad. I can now finally start exploring Windows 11. To complete the hardware setup, I have this USB-C adapter that gives the phone two USB ports for an external keyboard and mouse, a micro USB port for charging and running the phone, and an HDMI output. I have this unbranded HDMI monitor that fits really well with this setup, and definitely looks a piece with this whole thing. So what can I do with this Windows 11 computer? Well, the version of Windows 11 that I've installed is the latest developer preview version for ARM CPUs, which includes x86 64-bit emulation support. This is something that Microsoft has said will only be included with Windows 11 versions of their future ARM operating system. And it means that I should be able to run most Windows software on here from the past 25 years though I'm not really sure what sort of compatibility I'm going to get, and this is still an early experimental test release from Microsoft. I'm really interested to see what sort of compatibility this system is going to have with older software. Also, as I investigate this, I'm not expecting to get great performance running on this old Lumia phone, but I'm still really keen to see what it's like. Indeed, the phone gets hot just running Windows 11 by itself, and the battery life is really short when not plugged into external power. But seeing this compatibility with legacy software, and getting hints on how Microsoft will be handling its transition to ARM, is really interesting. If you have any suggestions for what I can run on this computer, then let me know in the comments. I hope to make another video with more of the things I find out about this system. Be sure to also like and share, check out my other social media. Thanks for any support and thank you for watching.
and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.